This is an electric fluid bed roaster, and um, when we first started this project, we were hoping to get our production to about 10 pounds an hour. Uh, we can consistently roast 15 pounds an hour with this roaster. Uh, you can either do six, uh, two and a half pound batches, uh, taking about nine and a half minutes, uh, reload your beans, do another one, roast back to back, or you can roast three pound batches and take a little bit longer, about 11 and a half minutes per batch. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'll explain the features as we're roasting along. This will take us about probably eight or nine minutes. We'll do about an eight or nine minute roast. And the first thing I'm gonna do is turn on the exhaust blower because when you're roasting with this machine, uh, it's good to have the exhaust blower on because uh, coffee beans are dirty. You'll see a little bit of dust on them when you dump them in and that kind of helps keep the area clean. So I'm gonna move behind the machine here. We got our blower set up in the back. This roaster is designed to run with a 500 CFM or larger dust collector motor. Um, the roaster comes with a bean cooler, the complete uh, duct kit to hook up to a multitude of different types of blowers. You can purchase them from us, but we can also give you links where you can buy them direct from the manufacturer, actually cheaper than we can get them. So uh, we'll go through that. This is really easy to operate. One of the things you do when you're loading your bean, just turn your exhaust hood over to the side. This wire chimney, the six inch chimney, stays connected to the um, hopper when you're roasting and when you're dumping. It, it clips on, gets a nice tight seal, and you can take the set screw off the back, take it off for cleaning. So we're gonna dump two and a half pounds of beans in here. The roaster comes with this little triangle scoop, which works great because it holds two and a half pounds of bean. It's a food grade scoop and uh, the design of it helps to keep all the beans going in the hopper when you're dumping them in. So with the machine, one of the things that uh, you do first is you establish your bean loft. This machine was very controllable. We've been really happy with the bean loft. We're starting from a cold start, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it all the way up to uh, 10, which is 5,200 watts. This has a one 5,200 watt element in it. So we have our bean loft established. That bean loft, you want to keep it down to about three or four inches. Uh, the lower the bean loft, the faster the beans will roast. If you want to slow it down a little bit, you can actually move the loft up a little bit and slow the rate of rise on the bean temperature. So I have it turned up to 10, and then I hit the heat button over on the side, and we're roasting coffee. The machine has an infinite heat control, just like the Artisan 6. So one of the things our roasters like is if they want to bring their bean temperature up slower at the beginning, they can just turn their heat down and then they can also um, turn it up just to do a nice even ramp. On a full two and a half pound batch, it, it naturally goes to a nice even ramp going up to temperature. The bean thermometer is mounted on the hopper uh, mount here and this stays with the machine, even when you're dumping the beans. This probe is immersed down in the bean bed you can roast down to a half a pound of coffee and still register the correct temperature. So really the only thing you have to do during the process is as the beans roast, they're going to get lighter. And so you just turn the, roast, the loft air down a little bit to keep it at that three or four inch level. If you're interested in roast profiling or roast logging, you can actually hook a Blue Therm Duo up to replace this. It has two inputs on it. We actually have one over here. This is the Blue Therm Duo module that you would mount on the hopper right here, so it would actually do the same thing. This has a uh, Bluetooth uh, connection. You can uh, hook it up. It's an iOS um, uh, program that we use. We use the Roastmaster app. If you go on, uh, on the uh, Apple site, you can search Roastmaster app and you'll see it in there. I think it's $5 or so for the, for the app. And it works really good. You can watch your bean log go up. You can actually save your roast profiles if you'd like. And then you can watch that as you're roasting and turn your heat up and down and follow that heat ramp that you like all the way up to your desired temperature. I don't use the, the logging because for me, it kind of takes the fun out of the roasting. It's real easy to roast on this machine. It's just something else I don't have to hook up.
One of the things that's really nice about this machine, the new research is kind of mimicking the old research. I don't know if you remember some years ago, they were talking about the dangers of on your gas barbecue of cooking your food in natural gas exhaust. One of the things they're finding in coffee beans is that the hydrogen sulfide that comes off of when you burn the gas, if you roast directly in that gas flame, it infuses that hydrogen sulfide in the coffee beans. And when the scientists were testing it, they were doing off-gassing and then measuring the off-gas. And they said that actually the hydrogen sulfide dissipates in four or five days, but you know, if you're advertising selling fresh roasted coffee, letting it off gas for four or five days before you actually give it to your customers, probably not that great of an idea. So the nice thing about the electric roasting is um, it's clean, hot, you can package it right away. One other thing about coffee freshness uh, and flavor is you want to make sure that you cool your beans very quickly. So. Uh, some of the roasters out there, they don't have adequate cooling, and so they'll take four, five, six, eight minutes to cool the beans. The carbon dioxide in a coffee bean holds a flavor. So cooling carbon dioxide down stops it from moving. So if you want to lock that carbon dioxide in the bean, you cool it down as quickly as possible. And if, and if some of you don't know this, you know carbon dioxide, when you cool it down to freezing, that becomes dry ice. So the cooler bean, the faster you cool it, the slower it uh, off-gasses the carbon dioxide. So that's why we always tell people when you're packaging your, your coffee beans, use the one-way gas valve. So when you're packaging those beans, you put them in the bag and let the carbon dioxide displace the oxygen in the bag. And then it's basically packing them in their own aroma. So they'll last a lot longer that way. If you watch some of our Friday show episodes, uh, we talk everything about coffee, you know, some facts about coffee people don't know. The big debate on whether you can freeze beans or not, uh, you actually can freeze them if you put them in a one-way valve, because remember that carbon dioxide becomes more inert the colder it gets, right? So when you're freezing that bean, you're really making that carbon dioxide not move through that bean. Uh, if you want to learn more about coffee freshness, go on our website, go to the Friday show and pull up the, the uh, Friday show about coffee freshness. So I just made an adjustment here. I turned it down. The beans are getting lighter now. Uh, we're all the way on our bean temperature to about 350 degrees. They're starting to turn golden brown. One of the things that worked great the way we designed the screen chimney is the inside of the screen is about equal with the side of the hopper. So when I roasted a three pound batch, just a little while ago I roasted a three pound batch, it filled the hopper completely up with roasted beans. It took about 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Um, so basically, this is just an extension of the hopper, so it's not like your beans are gonna jump out and get away. It's got a nice tight seal underneath the rim of that, and that's worked really, really, really good. There's, it gives you a lot of control over the beans without any beans flying around. Artisan 2.5 and the Artisan 6 is you can roast back to back on this machine. So I have an exhaust gas temperature um, thermocouple back here, so I measure that. And when we were roasting back to back to back, you know, to roast our 15 pounds per hour, we roast and cool at the same time. And our exhaust, exhaust gas temperature has never gone over uh, 130 degrees, about 130, 135, I think I saw this morning when I was doing a three pound batch. So it runs really cool, which is nice because. If you have another batch of beans ready to go, um, as soon as you pour that batch in the cooler over here, uh, you can go ahead and start roasting your ne next batch. That was really a great improvement in production because there aren't a lot of two pound roasters out there. Um, one of our competitors, Sano Fresco, they actually cool in their hopper, which makes it take like 18 minutes for a cycle, so you only get three loads an hour. Um, and so that cut the productivity in half to this one. So we're about 100% greater hourly capacity than the, than the Sano Fresco. This machine, there's not much in here to break down. We put thermal couples all through this machine during development. We didn't get the electrical void over about three or four degrees above ambient air temperature, and which is really great because um, heat is what kills your electrical components.
So we're just getting up to 400 degrees. We're just getting up to first crack. Turn down our loft a little bit more. I would have turned down the loft a little bit more. I was talking, so I noticed it got a little bit high. That makes a big difference. Keeping that loft down to three or four inches, it really accelerates the roast. Now, if you want to extend it, you can turn the loft up just a little bit. That's one way to control the heat. You can actually do that over turning the heat down. On a warm machine, Carrie and I, um, we roasted hour after hour after hour on this machine. And it roasts um, anywhere from a seven and a half to 12 minute cycle. We could turn it down. It'll e easily. That's actually a good feature because a lot of customers sell 12 ounce bags of coffee. So if you have a three pound load in here, um, you can get three bags of coffee to sell for each load that you run through. That would be uh, five loads an hour or 15 bags of coffee an hour of 12 ounce bags. We're going to take this bean batch to about 440 degrees. Uh, we're at about 420 degrees right now. You can probably hear first crack in there it's going on. It's been going on for a little while. This machine comes with a uh, safety switch. This is a temperature switch, so we set it at about 600 degrees from the factory. If it gets to 600 degrees, it will shut it off. One of the nice things that we like with this roaster, we use really heavy wire for the motor feeds down inside. And what that did is you can turn the motor on and off and we don't get that voltage spike. Now, when we get ready to dump this batch, we're gonna pull our lid off. One of the things about this, there's so much suction in this little, even this little 550 CFM blower. We just put a little crack in the edge there in the back of this uh, cooler. And then we will just pull the lid straight off. Then we'll just, we'll dump them right in there. Takes about, cool, a two and a half pound batch of beans. Takes about 90 seconds. This cooler is also going to be for sale as a standalone product that we're going to sell online. And right now it's got a two and a half inch fixture on the back, you know, and we have a two and a half to two inch silicone reducer. So you can actually stick your shop back right in there if you want. If you have a home roaster and you'd like to get a little bit faster cooling. This machine was insulated so well inside, we use a solid one inch ceramic shroud over the stainless steel heat chamber. When we had our thermocouples in here testing, it would hold heat up to an hour after you turn the machine off. So it's really efficient at containing the heat, which is one of the things that boosted our hourly capacity. All right, we're at 440 degrees, so we're gonna go ahead and cool the beans. First thing we wanna do is, is we're gonna turn off the heat switch. And then we're gonna turn this aside. We'll go ahead and pull the lid off the cooler. We'll turn our chimney to the side. Now, if we were roasting back to back, we would go ahead and throw our next batch inside of there and we would be roasting while we're finishing our cooling. With a two and a half pound batch, one of the things we found that works really well is to push the beans out towards the edge of the cooler so we're covering up all of this stainless steel mesh. That's it, I didn't check the time on this. I could have turned it down a little bit, roasted a little faster. That was probably an 11 minute roast or something like that. Um, so we just roasted a two and a half pound batch of coffee. So that's it, we hope you enjoyed the demonstration.